Hey guys! Alright, we're here with the next Civ 4 game. Just got a new desk in my room for my setup. A bit awkward getting used to it. It's a corner table instead of a straight one, so. I've got one screen on the other side. It's um, interesting. Right, let me turn that down a bit. Okay, what are we doing today? We're doing Mal Isolation. Um, this was a map. I asked someone to give me isolation games, I really, and I would actually appreciate it more because I want to practice isolation. Either a hard immortal isolation or maybe a more generous DD type, I don't mind. So, you're welcome to come to my thread and post your maps for me to play. This one's an immortal save. And let's get into it. Okay, we are live, yes. Alright, so this is Mao. Um, well, expansive is good, protective is useless, so we have one trait and it's expansive, but that's kind of okay, I guess. We have the best starting techs, agriculture and mining. Yeah, the, the best starting tech combo, I think. You can't beat this. You got your corn already, you got your mining, your one tech from bronze working. Your worker will never run out of things to do with this, unless every single tile is a forest, but... Usually that's not the case. Okay, Chokonu, well, yeah. Two first strikes, collateral damage, won't be using that in isolation. Pavilion is a theater with 25% culture, nothing amazing. You wouldn't go culture victory with China, you want philosophical, creative, spiritual pretty much for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the uniques don't help us here, but the techs are good and expensive is good, so we'll see what we can do. Probably on the lower side of the leaders. Okay, so this is our map. Just check the demographics. This is looking like immortal numbers here, that's good. Um, no Mansa Musa, no Hammurabi, and this is a fractal map, and yeah, pretty much standard settings otherwise. So I had a look at this um, start for a couple days, because I haven't had the chance to play much. I actually did the Genghis game last week, but I'm kind of slow on uploads, I like to only upload one episode a day usually so I can keep pumping out content and I can take a break for a week and still be able to put up videos. So usually I finish my games in one or two days, but uh, the way I upload them, I give people an episode a day to watch instead of just posting them all at once. I think that's a better way to do it, but I don't know. Okay, so basically we have two spot I have a couple spots to move the warrior. Obviously you want to move it on the hills to see further away. Going here would only reveal like three tiles, whereas this one, you know, would reveal these two, or these three actually, and here would reveal the most tiles, but not really useful for settling. We'll be settling around this area, that's where all the resources are. I'm not gonna move on to that plains hill like an idiot. However, going here, okay, so we have the corn up here, and that's a wet corn just without the river. It's got a lake instead. So, I don't want to move south. So that means checking south with my warrior is not really going to do anything. And if there is something down here, I'll probably get it in my big fat cross because I'm not moving south. Realistically, I can go here, which is kind of dumb. But I'm thinking the wine. I'll explain that in a minute. I'm most likely going this way. Um, so, I won't even be able to use these tiles here, so that's kind of pointless. So I might as well just look over here with my with my warrior and scout the fog. So I could go here, but there's a forest there and there's a hill there, which means these tiles up here will be blocked. Also that one. So three tiles will be blocked. We already know that's a forest. We already know that's a forest. Why don't we go here? So we can see more down here. We can see water there. That's water, you see? You can see the waves there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might find some fish or something, and you know, we might want to do... Yeah, it's actually telling me to go there. <laughs> Funky. But anyway. Oh yeah, I see why. It's not too bad, actually. I don't think I'll move away from the river, though. That's like a second city spot, though, for sure. 
What I'm actually going to do is move on to the wine. Now, I want the wine for a couple reasons. First of all, um, what do I lose? I lose one river tile. Okay, I lose that one too. So I'm losing two river tiles. I'm gaining one grassland river tile here because I'm moving off of it. And I will gain this river tile. And... Okay, so I'm actually losing... I'm kind of losing two river tiles to gain two. I'm going to lose the wine tile as well, but that's okay. I'd rather cottage the grassland. You know, we're not using the wines until monarchy. I don't even know if we'll go monarchy with the stone here, but probably still wants monarchy. It's fairly cheap to pick up before going straight to optics. Give me some more commerce to get to optics, more happiness. If I got stone, I'm going to be in rep, right? But rep uh, hard caps my happiness at eight. The wine would give me an extra happiness pretty early, so I'd make it nine. And then I won't be able to grow until I get a forge or something. Which we can do, but yeah. Um, anyway, um, more importantly, I was just going to say this is better, mainly because of the two commerce. We have two commerce here. Now, if I settle here, or here, it doesn't matter where I settle. If I settle in this area, I'm going to be working the corn. And I'm going to be working the pig, right? Those are going to be the first two tiles I'll work, and I'll always be working those. Now, here's the thing. Neither of them have any commerce on it. There's no commerce on these tiles, which means I'm going to be at nine beakers per turn the entirety of the early game here. And that's not really ideal, you know? It'll take you, like, 13 turns to get animal husbandry. It'll take you, like... No, 15 turns to get animal husbandry. It'll take you like 17 turns for bronze working. However, if you settle on this, you get plus one commerce immediately, which is an 11% research increase because you go from nine to 10 beakers for free. And once I grow, I can work the other one here and then I'll have like 12 beakers and that won't be too bad. That's my thoughts on that. Also, obviously, more grassland cottages. I can go over here to share the foods. Let's try that out. Okay, so we picked up a bunch of hills. With any luck, there might actually be copper there. And I got another wine. And another wine! Wow, lots of wine. Well, that's good for later on. But you can see here, we're up to 10 beakers now, thanks to that. And I could really go, like, 12 beakers if I want, like an idiot, but we won't do that. It's a bit unfortunate, I don't get the expansive worker bonus, but there's literally nowhere I can go to actually get the expansive worker. Oh, well, I guess I could settle the stone, but I'd lose almost every single river tile by going to the stone. And I actually think I might want to put a city up here. Or here. Somewhere up here. It can share the corn, because we have double food, we don't need double food. It can build a lighthouse and use the lake. And yeah, it's close. I think it's not a bad spot. Could also do it over here and get the corn that way. Or could also go here and use the pig. There's, there's options. Gotta think about where your settles are gonna go. We'll put something down here for sure. See if there's any fish down here. So first up, I want to open with bronze working, I think. Um... Or should I go Animal Husbandry? What about Animal Husbandry Bronze Working? I could just mine the pig, yes, but... If I get the two foods up nice and early... Yeah, if I mine it, I'm gonna have to eventually pasture it later, and that's going to, like, slow me down. But if I pasture it early, I can just settle something, like, over here and use the pig. Yeah, like, right here would be nice. Use the pig in there. Or settle up here, use the pig in there. Gives me options for second cities that can immediately start their development, pretty much. Could e yeah, even right here, get it with the big fat cross. That wouldn't be too bad at all. We'll have to think. I think animal husbandry. I could also have horses on one of these tiles. There's a lot of potential for that. 
Bronze working. Well, I don't need it just yet. I've got to get a worker out. I've got to farm that. That's 20 turns. I've got to pasture that. That's another 6 turns or 7 turns to do that because I've got to get there. Um, and that's what? That's like 26, 27 turns. I've got to move into a forest. It's 28 turns. I can actually get to bronze working in 28 turns if I go animal husbandry first. So why not do that? Now, I only have four forests here, but I might want to have a shot at the pyramids. So that's going to be pretty challenging. I need to put, like, a lot of mines down, pretty much. We're going to chop and mine that. And we're going to put, like, two more mines down. I've got the stone tile and, like, three mines. I'm going to have to slow build the mids. Which means I want the two foods to grow to size 5 quickly, and then I want to camp at size 5, working all of the mines. This is probably a situation you don't want to whip into the mids. But what I might do is I might rush out two settlers pretty early and then try to yeah i'll try to rush out two settlers early with the double foods and then i will stop and build the mids and maybe get workers in my second and third city while i'm building the mids so you know three settler three cities with two workers and then while i'm building the mids i'll get like another two workers or something i don't know Maybe I want more workers by then. So we've got to figure out how to expand as quickly as possible. Now I could go over here somewhere and chop out the workers. That wouldn't be too bad. Go up here, share the food. I don't know how effective that is. Well, I do want to share the food one way or another. So we'll think of something. But yeah, that's basically my strat. I'm going to have a shot at the mids. I think it's definitely worth it. And we'll go animal husbandry first, like a champion. Okay, my borders will pop, but they won't actually reveal much down here, so I'm going to take a peek and... Oh my god. I'm going, as I was saying, I was going to take a peek and have a look down here first. We could have copper down here, I might want to settle that. And then I'm going to go up here somewhere and fog bust. Also, I have this area behind here. Because um, it looks like it's water all the way down... Yeah, but there's, there's a land here that I can't see. Well, my borders will pop in a minute. We'll see. But, yeah. Gotta be careful. Okay, so that's um a lot of food. Holy cow, man. I can get, like, three cities out of these four foods here. My capital already has its own food. And then there's four food to share here. So how do I want to place my cities? I could go, like... I could go, like, here... Here, and then like here or something, something wacky like that, and then even like that. I'm not too sure. Or you could move this one to the left to use the double here, and then move this one over here. Still get the sheep, you know. Three food for two cities is very nice. Just getting a drink. <sighs> okay. We'll check again for fish. Uh, border pop will reveal all this, so we can go back up there now. Would I want to go here? I think I'd go here, share the pig, and another city can grab these two. I actually think this is better. Also, cottage sharing. We can share, like, three cottages here. Yeah. Three easy shareable cottages. That's ideal, especially since I'm going to be building the mids. I'd like to share some cottages and then take the mids in the capital. Uh, take the cottages in the capital once the mids are done. Okay, so we're going to see here. There you go. That's efficient scouting, you know. Scout what the border pop won't reveal, but let the border pop reveal the rest. You know what's nice? All of this above is all fog busted now. No bastard, because, yeah, it's, it's all water, if you can see that. It's all water, except down here. I'm going to need a guy down there. But we have until about turn 25, until, or maybe even turn 40. If, an, if we're lucky, an animal will spawn down there. And then we won't need to fog bust that until, like, the animal dies. Okay, since I was here already, there can't be an animal here. They don't spawn because I was fog busting. So it can move once more, then we have to be careful of animals, so I've got to go into the forest next, pretty much. I'll take a peek up to the north and then come back down and fog bust, or maybe I should just stay here. Yeah, it's a wolf, that's harmless. Okay, nice. Okay, 
Okay, there's a little bit of tundra up here. I don't know if I want to... I, w I want to go back down here. I think, like, right here would be a pretty good spot to fog bust. I would cover, like, this huge square here. And then there'd just be these two tiles. But I think I get one warrior go there, another warrior go there, and I should be okay. I'm gonna just sit right there and fog bust, I think. That's a lot of tiles I'm covering. And I've got a nice defensive position, too. I think that's pretty good. Hey, horses, come on. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle. No, not like this, guys. And the flocks of thy sheep. Okay, so the work is coming out now. And you could go the pigs first. It might actually save a worker turn going to the pigs first. Would that justify it? Oh, let me check here. I'd get the agriculture. Oh, the corn would take one, and then. Hmm. This is interesting. The corn, it's five turns to farm, right? The corn would take six turns to improve. The pig would only take five. So I would have an extra five food, one hammer, pretty much. Or an extra two food, one hammer. Hold on, let me calculate this. I wonder if it's better to get the pigs first. Okay, so if I get the pigs first, it's, it's a five food, one hammer tile, right? Um, how long would it take to grow? Well, it's going to be five turns of the three food tile, which would put me at... Well, no, it's four turns, and then on the fifth turn it gets improved. So I'd be 22. Uh, I'd be 12 out of 22. And then I, it's just two turns to grow. I think it's like that. Yeah, the worker comes out, I move. And then four turns, and then it gets improved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could grow in seven, working that. This is not any faster, because I just have an extra two food. But by working that for like five turns, instead of two food, I think. Well, it takes an extra turn, so it would be 14 out of 22. No, 15 out of 22. But plus six, that's only 21 out of 22. So no, it's not faster to grow, even though that has more food. I'm, I don't know, I think my math is a bit stupid here, but I think I, I think I, I think it's better to improve the pig first, is what I'm saying. I'll get a whole bunch of extra hammers doing that too, to build some warriors. In exchange for like, one or two food, I think. And then what I can do is, I can get to the corn in two turns. I can go one, and then improve it immediately. Now, if I was at the corn first, it would be one, two, and then start improving this. Ah! So in reality, I'm saving two turns. You see, the default move would be improving the best source of food first, but this saves me two worker turns. Yeah. Or a worker turn and a turn of growing, or working a good tile. You get what I mean? I, th I think that's better. Nice bit of optimization here, you know? I think that's worth it, because I actually want the hammers anyway to get my warriors out. I'm not on a plane till or something. So we should be 12 out of 22, and then we start working a 5 foot tile, right? Yeah, my calculation's right. And look, we grow in two, just barely. Perfect. That's actually freaking awesome. Now I get the warrior pumpage. That's nice. I want, like, a whole bunch of warriors before I start on a settler, by the way. Okay, so now I go here and start farming. Yeah, that's perfect. And guess what? I can farm here and then start... Oh, I need to get bronze working though if I'm going to do that. I need bronze working like one turn quicker. Um, five turns here. That's two turns away and then I've got to get into the forest. I'll still be one turn away. So I'll need to work this just for like a couple turns. I think I can grow up a size here. And work the wine at size 3, and I should be able to speed that up, maybe, we'll see. I think I can do that. Please tell me I can do this now. Oh, no. I have to do it like that. Oh, that's sad. I messed up big time. 
I think I have to do that for like one day. I should have done that already beforehand. I think I have to... Do I care about optimizing my bronze working that much? It's gonna be one turn away I move in. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have to waste a worker turn. Oh, I could go over here and build a mine before I start chopping. That would give me a good tile to work while I build the settler, and it'll be useful for the pyramids anyway, because I don't want to just chop immediately. You know what? I like that idea. I'll, I'll work this tile, I think. Well, do I, maybe I'll just pump the warriors. Do I care about teching or pumping guys? I think I'll tech a bit. Well, I don't know. I think I can switch over to that a bit later. And still get the warrior in four, so yeah. I'm gonna go down here and fog bust that. Although I don't wanna no, I actually wanna protect this spot first. It's kind of unlikely, but I can get there quicker than I can get here, so let's and I've got forests there, so we'll save that for later. This one's a this one's like I don't see any forests here, so that's a lot more dangerous. Okay, so instead of wasting a turn in the forest, I'm just going to go put a mine down, because I'll probably use that mine. I'll definitely be using that mine. I think it's a very sensible option. Okay, so can we still get it in three? No. One more turn, I think. As long as there's no bastard hiding there. Okay, now, yeah, two and two, and a bit more beakers per turn, so why not? It is entirely seemly. Young man killed in battle to lie Ah, oh, the lion is there. What a bastard. He's like hiding down here, not showing himself at all. Oh, we probably want the wheel now. Alright, don't lose. Please, please don't lose. Please, 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 please don't lose. Or we're going to get an archer spawn there, probably. I thought there was nothing here yet, but he's just hiding like a little punk. Also, there's fish there. That's not too shabby. Ah! A 23% bro. Bro. Wow, Chad Lion, okay. <sighs> okay, I'm going to min-max this a bit. I'm going to work these and then switch over to the mine next turn. Well, the lion can freaking fog bust for me, and I'll go fog bust here. As long as the archer doesn't appear like right there. Oh shit! I, did, I meant to go there. <laughs> that was dangerous. Alright, I'm gonna. I think I can grow in two and get the bastard in two without being able to do that too. 13, yeah, I, I, okay. I work that for one turn and then I can like go to that or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, now I need a two foot tile. Yeah, there we go, one and one, perfect. Do I really want to grow though? I need more warriors is what I need. I don't need food, I need warriors. So work the hammers actually. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm gonna go chop and mine that, I think. I'm not going to move any further. There could be an archer here that just walked over here that I can't see. And could have walked up here and just wandered around. It's possible. So I'm just going to sit here for a few turns. He might appear here. If he doesn't, or if he doesn't show up here in a couple turns, we can move across and push our guys up a bit. Okay, avoid growth. Because what I want to do, I, I want another warrior to sit in here before I grow. Avoid growth for like one turn, which means food is kind of pointless, so just work hammers. I hate to do that, but let's do that. At least get some commerce. I need to hurry up, that lion's going to go poof and turn into an archer. Okay, now we can work the food. Might as well fill the food bar a bit more. Thank God lions can't get promotions. 
I don't think I need to get the seven turn settler. I think the chop will speed it up a bit. Now, this should be safe now. Yep. And we could go up here too. Which I might want to do. I'll wait a bit. Or should I just get the settler out? No, I want pottery masonry. Ah, shit. Put your to the well, it's only a warrior, at least. It's only a warrior. Yeah, you see? Between 3000 BC, I think it's like turn 30, and turn 50, or turn 45. That's the extinction phase where all the animals just disappear and become barbarian and warriors and archers. And you know what? I forgot to give barbarians their starting tech, so... That's... Let's do that now. Okay, well, we kind of lucked out. Well, I kind of cheated on that. Well, we don't know. It could have actually spawned a warrior naturally as well, but yeah, I forgot to give the starting tech. So you have to do that whenever you play a world builder save, but... Is what it is. Um... But I asked for the world builder saves so they're compatible with the way I run my sieve because I have bug mod, I have bug DLL, and I have blue marble, and they're installed in my assets folder, and I have a different version of the sieve for core game files, so I don't know if I can actually run like different versions of saves, so that's why I asked the world builder version just to make sure that it's okay. And I'm actually thinking maybe here, this one can get a border pop, get that, and then this one can just get that immediately. Might be better. Um, but yeah, it can spawn warriors as well. It's like 50-50 if it spawns an archer or warrior, so who knows. At least I remembered now before, you know, I got spammed, but yeah. Before it's too late, it's minimal difference. But anyway, yeah, whatever. More importantly, I shouldn't have lost to a freaking lion like that. But anyway, um, so we're not going to take another 25% chance because I'll probably lose again. You know how it goes. Do I want to squeeze in mod uh, pottery before masonry? Well, maybe masonry pottery. I need workers though for for masonry. I don't even have workers yet. Like, I could chop a granary and whip, whip workers in here and get another settler in here. It's still kind of early for the mids. If I can get them by thirteen hundred BC, that would be okay. I can't get a good mid state with a capital like this. I, I just can't. So I'd be pretty happy with like thirteen hundred BC for this kind of start. Because there's only a couple forests, and I'm getting rid of one of my forests right now. I don't have a Plains Hill base tile. I didn't settle on stone, so I have to waste time hooking the stone up. It's going to take a while, and yeah, not much to chop. So my mid state won't be very good. I'm not industrious, so yeah. But we'll see what we can do. Um, so do I want pottery? I think I'll go pottery first. That'll help my teching. I can get to masonry quicker, potentially. Like, I'll mine this and maybe put one cottage down and then farm or something. I think I go right here. It's nice and close, and it should actually be automatically connected. I'm not too sure about that one, but yeah. I think I'll go up here before a bastard spawns up here, because I'm fog busting here too now. And I'll. S yeah, okay, he wants to mess with me. Um, he won't come any closer, and he'll just go back down there. There's no reason to engage him just yet. I'll just step back, walk away. We don't have to mess with him just yet. Yeah, one turn faster pottery would kind of be... It's actually not going to help me because my work is about to finish that. Shit. I should be working hammers and getting that faster. And then, like, yeah. Okay. I can't go there. This tile's not fog busted yet. Oh, really, you bastard. Alright, well, I'll just go right. No, if I go here and fight him here, there's a chance for an archer to spawn here when he 
goes up here or here to engage me, a guy could spawn here. Or as soon as he dies, another one has like four tiles to pop up on. So I want to fight him here if I can. He's just going to go back. Okay, so we have very nice hammers here. Pumping that settler out. I still got six turns into pottery. Do I want another mine? Or do I want a road? Maybe a road here to get to the thing quicker later. I think I'll do that. Save the worker turn because I have to road that tile no matter what. Okay, that guy is harmless. But now since my settler's fog busting that, we can move up here and fortify in the forest. You're really not helping, are you, buddy? I should have fought it. Yeah, well, I don't want to take the risk. I don't want to get more warriors out. I'm going to go get an expansive speedy worker out. Look at that. Three turn worker. That's nice. Just with overflow hammers from the settler. I don't think you can go wrong with that. The Great War went fairly early for this difficulty. That's a little bit concerning. What do you want? That's 17. That's only 18. I'm not losing an expansive hammer here. I've got four. I've got four. And then it's just an extra one or two. I'll just take the extra one and get the commerce. I think. Okay, I don't need to actually improve that immediately because I can just work that tile. Excellent. <laughs> That's nice. You're really not making this easy for me, are you? I don't want to take a 75 because I just lost one. He's not helping. Alright, are we connected here? Yes, I gained four beakers. At yes. Okay, you want to know how this connects? The city's on this river, so therefore it's connected to this river. Now... It go, this river goes to the coast. However, this river is also on the same tile as this river. So therefore, the game thinks these rivers are linked. And now, this river technically passes through my border. And then this river goes up here, which is connected to Beijing. So therefore, we have trade routes, guys. <laughs> That's actually how it works. I am not kidding you. Pretty funny. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, working the two hammer tile was actually good. Now I can still get the worker in one turn, just barely. But okay, we'll go straight for the food. Yeah, second worker, good idea. Alright, pottery, can I get that in two? No! Alright, it's okay. It's actually a research increase, I believe. Maybe. Yes, I agree. I'll try again. He keeps coming at me. I'll just send a second warrior down there. Actually, that would solve all my issues, wouldn't it? Uh, I probably could have got pottery quicker if I used my brain a bit. Yeah, you know what? It's okay, though. Maybe, actually, it's kind of not okay, because I want to be cottaging right now. So that's a bum-bum. A boo-boo. Fortify. All right, I get some fortify bonus now. Yeah, I want to get more warriors out and push out before they bother me in a minute. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel right, masonry. Unto honor and another unto dishonor? Right that. One more settler before I start on mids and stuff. Might want to chop that guy out, I don't know really. Yes, I agree. Do I want help with this guy here? Uh, I have this warrior in here if I really need. I'm going to go help the front line here. That's dangerous. There's a lot of land over here from what I can see. I want to fog bust this area down here. Masonry will have to wait. I think I want to get to masonry quicker though, so work that. Okay, here he comes. I have 35% bonus now. The odds are good. Yeah, not really ideal here, but what can you do? Good! Immediately fog bust now, before more bastards spawn. Okay, 
I think I can get it in five. We'll find a way. Okay, what I'll do is I'll do that. And you can do that. There we go. That'll do. That gets me the settler significantly faster too. That's worth it. Just barely too. Nice, 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 nice. I get the warrior in five here. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, perfect. You heal. We're gonna push together out there. I think I will chop a worker in here at size thing. Do I want to do that yet? I think I will put the chop into a worker. I want to work the cottage and stuff. Okay, so this is fog busted. This is fog busted. That's fog busted. That's fog busted mostly. Now we just got to push down here. Settler is coming. So is masonry. I'm going to start chopping that. I'm going to push out together. I'm going to put both on the same tile and work my way down there. Alright, let's go, guys. Charge! Got my border pop. No seafood whatsoever. Wow, that's kind of disappointing. Yeah, maybe this is... I don't know about settling here. Maybe, but I don't know. Let's take the food in here. I think number three goes down here, though. This is a nice area. Okay, I'm getting masonry next turn, no matter what I do. So we'll go ahead and do that and chop into Shanghai. Because that makes a difference, working that tile. Oh, missing out on expansive bonus by one. That's sad. You know, if I mined the pig, I'd actually have three hammers and be able to get plus one with expansive. <laughs> um, I might just chop again. But we'll send this guy to start working on the quarry. And you know what? I could whip a worker here into the mids, maybe. Actually, no, I don't think I'll chop that. Just do that. Okay, I actually have culture here, so... Yeah, it's time to push. Oh, a forest tundra deer. I mean, there's a bunch of grassland here. It's not that bad. So, rather than here, maybe just here. Grab that deer. It's not, a bit, it's not the worst tile in the world. Really not. And then I could go here, or here. Maybe here, grab these unused forests. These ones can be used by that or the capital, so that would probably make more sense. Yeah, make a stand on that hill there. That, that's nice. We'll follow up, and if there's nothing there, we can send one back or something to fill that hole in. Actually, we can grow another size here. Yeah, we'll do that. It is from their and I will get my expansive bonus friends. if I grow that extra size. I'll have one more hammer. Hey, that works out pretty nice. Okay, so you go there. You go here and help out with that. You're going to go up here to the front line. I'm going to need a bunch of warriors to push with me. I've got to be careful of like barb spears and grab. Oh god. Yeah, I think I want that, man. That's pretty good. Need to get a border pop though, or fishing. We'll just get fishing first and get like riding after that or something. Alright, what's the situation here? Yeah, something like that. I'm not covering that tile actually. Excellent, now I'm covering everything. We be brave, guys. Pushing out. Okay, well, I don't have the stone yet, but maybe I should just start putting hammers into it anyway. And it's time to stop working food, and you know what? Take the food in here. And then I'll get the worker out very quickly that way. Yeah, that's not too bad. Right. 
Got the expansive bonus, and I've got a ton of food, so we're now at 13 hammers per turn on that guy. Because I'm building a worker right now, we can send the extra warrior to help push on the front line. They're going to start beelining me like any minute now. I've got to be ready for that crap. Holy crap, that's a lot of land though. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be problematic. I might even go archery. Holy crap, dude. I think I'm going to need archery. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous for the barbarian thing. Okay, I can cut off two turns off that quarry by helping out there. That's definitely worth it. May or may not get fishing in time. We'll figure it out though. Do I want to do anything else here? Maybe I'll do that. Will this still be three turns? Yes, it will, even though I'll lose the expansive bonus. I don't like to do that. You know what? I'll keep the expansive bonus and I'll put the hammers that overflow into the granary. Here we can do that, I suppose. That's okay. Don't need to work that tile. We'll just work the stone in a minute. The stone will be improved at the same time this worker comes out, so this city can take the cottage and build a granary, and then, yeah, looking good. Ideally, I would go writing now, but I want this city to have... Ooh, I overflow into workboats. Well, that means I need to get that a bit faster, though. How am I going to do that? I don't know. We shall figure it out, boys. Alright, there can't be a guy here. You know what, I'm probably going to pay a unit cost, aren't I? Yep! Ah oh, well, shit happens. Mark that down. Warrior, 54. There's a warrior fog busting here, we want to keep him alive. And yeah, pretty much that's it. He's not coming for me yet, apparently, so that's nice. Alright, the stone has been finished. Can't get fishing yet. Um, I should try to get it into though. Okay, so we got 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 13. We'll do that. And then go like full power next turn. I'm min-maxing here a bit. I don't want to lose B because it rounds down, right? I think another mine is necessary though, so we'll go put one more mine down. Ouch, unit cost. Well, this should help. Only costed two gold per turn. Not the end of the world. I, lo I lost the unit supply and the unit cost though, so... I think the city itself costed four gold per turn, but because of... stuff... It wasn't so bad. Okay, but I need a workboat, and I'm not getting that workboat yet. Um, oh, you know what? Forgot about that. Shit. Not ideal. Really not ideal. I think I just chop a boat out. Might be easier to just chop the boat out in here. And then I can chop a granary straight after that. So put hammers into granary for now. And I'll chop the boat. Only saves one turn, but I think it's worth it. We'll mine these suckers. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's um, not too bad. Marble as well. Hey, I don't know if I'll be able to use that. Well, maybe later for heroic epic and stuff like that. Could be okay. I think I'll also put that guy on the hill there to kind of reinforce a bit. So now we chop a boat here. You are going to run out of stuff to do in a minute. I think we go full mids now. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Full on pyramid mode, pretty much. You need to work as much hammers as possible, that is as much as possible, but that's okay. Oh my god. Dude, the Moai statue city spot of the dreams. I'll go right here. This is like 
boy dream here. I need that. I actually need that. Oh god, my economy's dying a bit. Um, it's because this is not connected. I need like a border pop here. Get to writing next, I think. I'll try to defend without archery. This might be suicide, but... Yeah, I'm not actually paying unit cost. I just have low commerce. I need more cottages. This guy can put a cottage on that tile right there because that's shareable. Go do that immediately and the other guy can start chopping probably. Also, you have kind of hit your growth limit. So I would say just do that for a little bit and we'll just rotate between those two or even... Could go to that, but I kind of want to prioritize the... Um, the commerce a bit. Okay, that's the same warrior. I don't know where he's going. Might be blocking his path, actually. I might actually be blocking his path so he's trying to go around. I'm not sure what the idea is. Ah! Misclick! Oh. Whoops. Do that for one more turn. Um, we're gonna hit unhappiness here, so I need something to whip. Which will be another worker. And now what I do is I grow and then immediately whip the worker. Yeah. Into, I don't know what. It's probably a warrior. Into granary warrior, yeah. Okay, we can spare our mistake here and go here and start chopping. That's okay. Get that damn boat. I'd like to work the commerce, but I can't right now. And you can do that, I guess, for a couple turns. Not bothering me yet, surprisingly. I could also just build a road. Probably will do that, actually. Don't care about overflow. And you know what? That's a better tile, so that helps my capital. Maybe I'll just build a road. Yeah, come on, just build a freaking road. She'll be right. That's... Well, it's only one commerce, to be honest. Maybe that's not... Nah, no, screw the road. Maybe I chop a granary and go cottage or something. I'll chop this so I can cottage the river. Alright, I'll finish the road since I might as well at this point, because it was, won't save me any turns just walking there. Um, I'll finish the road, go here and chop that. That one's a lot more safer getting pillaged from getting pillaged than these two, because a bastard could come here and get me. I'll chop and cottage that one, and yeah, we have some commerce coming out of this city and it won't be so bad. Um, start chopping here. Right, how much overflow do I have in reality? Okay, I'll do that. I still have 10 hammers after that, and that won't... Screw me, pretty much. Writing, how f not that one. How far are we from writing? Almost there. When I get that boat out and work that tile, that'll probably help a lot. I need to start chopping though, pretty much. So, road. Uh, finish that, because we may as well. Why not? That guy doesn't really need to be there, but he's kind of there in case the guy ignores me and goes here. In which case I can just go here and then he's... Yeah. That's the idea. Ah, another cottage. Can I use that? Not really. Not really without slowing down the mids. I need that warrior to grow here. Or maybe I should be doing that. That scared me, that noise. <laughs> Thought the mids just went ding, but nah, it's okay. Okay, here we go. There we are. Better. Holy crap, they yeah, the warrior rush, okay. Well, there's supposed to be archers in there, but whatever, shit happens. Not intentional. Okay. 
Now that's a big difference. Just grow here and then take the cottage. I need to chop this bastard out. That guy chops there, and that should do it just about. I chop like a settler here. Or, no, I'd be chopping a library, so we just wait, I think. Or I could road that, finish that road maybe. Can't get there just yet. Um, if they go past me, I'm actually screwed, so I kind of can't risk that. Alright, you got full fortify bonus. Oh, they might just triple gangbang me here, man. I don't want to pull off, though. Yeah, if they walk past me, though, I'm super screwed. Go here. Hopefully they don't win. It's only a small chance, but... Could be in deep shite there. Um, let's bring this guy over. I should have done that last turn. Kind of playing with fire a bit here. I'm not too proud of it. And last chop right there. Oh, okay. I can't risk that. He's going to promote, but he should still be a bit wounded. Go there to stop more spawns. I'll go like right here. Okay, okay. Mm. Don't screw me, bro. He's badly winded. Ah, oh, he messed up my chop, you little punk. Oh man. Oh, he didn't promote or anything. Must have had high odds. They all attacked that same guy. Yeah, okay. 0 0.9 against the first one. Obviously lost that. 42 and I won 42 or 58. That's kind of nice. And then 100% because I have... Zero health left after the 42. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, it's getting a bit dangerous. Alright, now they're going to spawn archers though, because I gave them archery a bit late, but they'll actually spawn archers now. I'm a bit concerned about that. Hmm. I don't need to do that, do I? No, I can work a cottage now. Yay. Tempted to just whip a freaking warrior. It's better to whip the granary though. Into another warrior. Good, 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 good. Push out again. Fog bust. A big trouble if a spear or an archer comes at me now, or even an axe. We go straight to archery after this. I was meant to chop there, maybe I don't want to chop that now. What am I going to chop? Warriors? Put the chop into library, I guess. Okay, here we are! No! No, 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 no. Oh man, I don't think I can... Alright, well, two turns. We can do that then. Two turns, we take it. I chop a library out in here, like right now. Oh, uh, maybe wait for writing. I'm gonna go into revolt for a turn as well. It's kind of a slow start. Haven't really optimized this too well. It's not I'm not too happy with how it's going, to be honest. I'll start roading this up, I guess. 
Okay, don't be a horrible surprise right here. Good. Yeah, that should be chopped into a library. I don't want to chop warriors. That's kind of stupid. I'll just cottage for like two turns and then finish the chop. Like that. This can't grow for three more turns, so we put on avoid growth here. Honestly, just do that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. okay. Just getting comfortable here. Uh, Rode that bastard. You can also go here. That'll speed up the road and I can probably delay the chop for a sec. And you... I will probably put a thing here or here. Maybe the Plains Hill. I mean, the Lighthouse is nice, but Plains Hill. Do I want the Plains Hill or the Lighthouse Lake? I think I have enough food. Also, this claims like nearly no forests if I'm going to settle there. This will claim two forests and that one, so kind of three forests, two and a half forests. And I can chop that into the capital like right now, maybe. We'll do that. So here's your mids. I got it pretty much where I said I'd be happy with, you know, 1280 BC or 1240 BC, whatever. 1280 BC, yeah, that's pretty close to 1300. I told you I'd be happy if I got 1300. So it's not terrible. Obviously it could be better, but you know what? I'll take it. Okay, quickly get a granary in here before I start growing. That would kind of be ideal. Wouldn't go that far, but yeah. Or maybe I'll just grow anyway. So I can work more mines uh, next turn. You are unhappy for one turn. I could revolt right now. Do I want to revolt right now? I don't think it makes a difference. So I don't see why not. While I'm connecting my roads up, actually. Kind of ideal to do that now. We're going into rep. It's going to give me three happiness. And yeah, rep specialists. We've got to think about... Pumping out the great people pretty soon. Alright, so now that actually took off a turn of unhappiness too. So now we can do that. We can work a far more superior tile, by the way. I don't know why I'm working the coast like that instead of a cottage. A bit stupid. Okay, now you can... When it's still not at riding yet, so... That'll have to wait. That chopper's going into a library, right? Right, right. This one, we're, two pop, we're chopping and then two-pop whipping a library. And you're doing the granary thing. Straight into a settler, I think. So I don't want the engineer, I want to run library... I want to run scientists in these two cities, yeah? Yeah, because I don't want to engineer. Okay, writing is coming next turn. So until then, just work the commerce, that's okay. Or I could go to size, grow to size 6. Kind of actually can't grow if I do that though. I actually need the double food here. Feels bad. Only plus 6. Only 8 hammers, huh? Well, that finishes the granary, so you know what? That's okay. Need that, but yeah, we'll be getting a library. I think I'll chop. Could double chop. Yeah, one chop is fine and just work the hammers. I can get it like three turns or whatever. So we'll go chop a library out here. Did I get the. I already got the granary, I remember I whipped it. So we'll go chop a library in here. Alright, hunting archery now so I don't die. There's so much stuff I'm not fog busting. We could have axemen. And barb axes versus warriors. Isn't really what you want. Okay, work hammers now. Four hammers.
a settler in here, that's perfectly fine. Ah, five turn settler. Don't think you can argue with that. Just do the three hammers. For now, that's okay. I'm gonna go archery and then monarchy and then optics. I want to get. Where am I gonna settle? Do I want to get this? This. This is a good spot. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Granary, library. Yeah, uh, just work the mine and two pop with the library. One pop with the granary, or just slow build the granary. And that'll be able to run a ton of dudes. I have so much food, I might even want to go cast. Cast system, that I could run merchants, which would kind of help. Rep merchants, very nice. But doing this with warriors, with this much land here, is very dangerous. I think I want archers. We got reps, so these bastards can grow pretty high now. I'm just trying to think what should I do next with my worker. I'm gonna get ready for the next settle, which might be up here for that, or am I gonna go all the way down here? Well, I probably want archery to go down there, so maybe that can wait. This one is very easy to defend, so yeah, we'll go for that one first, and then number five will be down there. It's going to cost a lot, but I think it'll be okay with rep. Well, I kind of want to work the hammer, but no, I'll just do more chops and then two pop whip. Should be okay. How about that one? I can two pop whip that next turn. No, I can't. I need to get a lot more hammers. I might be better off just growing to size 6 then. Grow to size 6. I'll delay teching until I have the libraries both up. I could even farm that for a bit more food, but I should be able to get that pretty soon, so I don't know about that. Maybe want another cottage in here, in fact. Let's see why not. I will need hunting, by the way. Oh shit! Oh shit! That is what I mean. All right, boys. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> Playing with fire here. Holy crap! Holy crap. Um, one, two, three, four. I can use the warrior to distract him if he comes closer. That's not a joke. I will chop an archer here. God, I hope I have time, or I hope that works. I can always whip the archer if I need to. Just make sure I don't whip, I guess. One, two, three, four. Now, I can delay him. If he moves here, I go back. If he moves here... Okay, I could go here a little bit. Now, if he moves here... I move here, and if he goes here, I move here, and he will definitely take the 100% fight. So it's like one, one, two. Three, four, five, six. Or I could go here. I don't know if he's going to come closer. We'll just take a step back and we'll see if he wants to hurt me. Um, 
I think if I chop that one now, and I immediately go and start chopping this one, I'll be able to get both done before that axe gets me. I gotta be careful, man. That's just freaking dangerous. It's... Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay, 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 okay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get it. I get it now. Oh, if he goes here, that's even better. I can delay him, but no, he's gonna go here, and then I need to, yeah, stay here or go here and bait him. Uh, Hill Darcher should be able to defend from an axe. Should. Should. I don't know if it'll work, but maybe. I am very scared. I'm trying to get beakers to. You know what? I think I can fix that next turn. I'll make sure I get archery in like one after hunting. What is what I'm trying to do? Start chopping that. This is dangerous. Oh shit. If you chase two rabbits, you will lose them both. Okay, we sacrifice him. Got freaking axemen, man. Um, I really need to speed up archery here. Library might actually help a bit. Okay, I have to do that. I don't have a choice. I think with the library boost I can get it, but yeah, I can work a rep scientist. We'll get we'll get it in two, no problem. So it should be okay. Yeah, rep scientist. Definitely get it. Um, I hope I kill that archer at least, or I'm in deep shite. Alright, I can move you out. I think you can grow one more. Yeah, we'll get that guy in to help defend from the archer. You never know, man. Oh my god, this is dangerous. I need archers. I need archers and I need them now. Oh! God. If that guy gets my warrior, well, shit, man. I uh, messed up my chopping thing, too. Okay, archery. Make sure I get archery. I should be able to get that settler out this turn, too. Like that. There we go. Yes. Well, I can always sacrifice a worker to buy myself more time. Yeah, freaking barbacks. Yeah, we need archers. We really need archers. Or we are dead. Okay, you know what? I need to do double scientist here. I know I'm not working the cottages, but... Actually, what am I doing? Take them in here. There we go. Perfect. Then you work one cottage and the guys. Yeah, that's perfect. Holy crap, that's all I can say. Hopefully that archer goes there and I can chop an archer straight away. Oh, wait, that one chop won't be enough though. Well, he, hopefully he goes here like an idiot and attacks across the river. And then I, yeah, I gotta hurry up because the axeman's coming. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Holy shit, this is not a joke. Uh, I, I have to win that. And I'll whip the archer into another archer, I think. Because I can't get the archer out this turn. I can't. You freaking bastards, dude. Holy crap. I better win that. Don't, please don't screw me up. Don't deserve that crap. Mm. 
library. Oh, you could. Oh boy. Okay. I've got no choice. I can't whip the library. I have to whip the archer into another archer. Oh my god, yeah. Into another archer for sure. <laughs> Holy crap! Get an archer up here. Ah! I'm dying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, everything hurts and I'm dying. Um, alright, I can grow back quickly at least. Oh yeah, okay, pillage my shit, you bastard. Oh hey, guess what, I'm protective, let's go. <laughs> protective, not useless trait confirmed, it's gonna save my life. <laughs> oh you bastard, you had to pillage that. Healed protective archer. Yeah, come at me, you bastards. In before I just lose anyway. Oh, yeah, let's go, protective. <laughs> oh, dude, the spearman had 0 0.6 and the axe only had 6. Yeah, okay, protective has its uses, guys. I can't deny that. This is the one out of ten situations where protective is not too shabby. I'm gonna go out with this guy and fog bust. The archers need to heal, I think. Well, one archer can come out. Yeah, dude, barb axes. That shit is scary. I don't have metal. I actually think I have iron, though. Probably, I should have iron. I mean, come on. Once I get iron, I build a couple axes, we'll be okay. But wow, that is something and a half. Okay then. I'm going to get an archer to defend the north, because axes are scary. And... Uh, we can try there, but... Hard to defend that. My beakers per turn should skyrocket in a minute. Shit, I should be in position for that. Well, never mind going there. I should have just cottaged that for one turn. Waiting, I'm getting that now. Fog bust, so don't, more don't spawn. Okay. Alert is over. Improve that. Grow that to size 5 and run guys there. You are growing while running two guys. That's actually kind of nice. You'll be able to work a cottage now. What are you doing? Who told you to do that? I told you. I'm telling you right now that you need to grow to your maximum size. And I'm going to go get my wine, because that'll give me a lot of commerce. Okay, archers and warriors, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. We can, we, we, we can handle that. We can't handle axes. Warrior can defend against the warrior, the archer can defend against the archers. Oh my god. Start on a workboat here for that guy, because I'll be doing another settler, you know. So what I'm doing here, this might not be the best optics date. It'll be an okay astronomy date. I can pretty much guarantee you that. And I'm going to have a nice empire here to work with. I'm going to have like five or six cities. I'm going to have beautifully developed cottages. I'm going to have infrastructure. I'm going to even have a military army at this point from fighting frigging barbarians. I might even have the heroic epic unlocked. And yeah, that'd be pretty good. 
It might not be the best optic state though. That's usually what happens when you go for mids and then you got to defend yourself from stupid barbarians. I think I'll do that. Well, wait, what's the point? What, what's the point of that? Do that. Get that library up. I don't want to tech until that library's up. I want that library built. Push out there. Okay, this is fine. The warrior fights the warrior and the archer fights the archer. If they slip past, my guys can fall back to this tile and get to the city anyway. Got my freaking cottage up again like a champion. I'll fortify the... well, I don't know. I need an archer on that spot. Let's, let's try to get over there. Come on, let's be brave. We'll be brave, guys. Yeah. I think I'll just do one chop here and that second worker can do a single chop and put a cottage there. And then that'll be it. We'll just wait until size four and then two pop whip. It's about time I got to business over here. Oh yeah, I wanted to go there too. Yeah, I might even go six cities, man. That'll be done next turn. I might go one, I might grab that because that's definitely worth. And then I might put one here. That one won't cost much. I think it'll be okay. What I need is tiles to work in the capital. Running out soon. Once I'm finished with the mines, I want cottages everywhere to work, right? Yeah, eat that, you bastards. Mm. Protective archers. Protective archer moment. Look at that. 3%. 6%. Yeah, look at that. 8% against my archer in a forest. Bastard. I'm protective. Haha. -ha. The city garrison bonus doesn't do much, but the drill one does. Try and get on that forest hill. Oh, that's an okay spot for later. Got a lot of land here to work with. Now that I think about it, it's not too bad. Need to fog bust that. I'll do. Don't be a uh, fool. Oh yeah, you grow that. You you will grow off of that tile and then pump the stuff. So first scientist will be doing an academy, and after that it'll be like um, double bulb. The next two will do bulbing. So I'll get one out here, and we'll try our luck in here. Maybe I don't want to do that though. The next guy's going to take so many turns though, so I might want to just do it in Beijing and risk it. I really want an academy. I mean, look how good this capital is, dude. Look at all the river tiles. It's got the wines. It's going to be so good with an academy. It's going to be awesome. I need it. I need an academy. Well, maybe I can get another guy out of here, like a second guy out of here, especially if I go to Code of Laws. If I'm going to go to Code of Laws... Oh, do I really want to invest in that? Yeah, rep specialists. I think you do, actually. I think you do want code of laws with rep scientists and rep merchants. The fact I have double food here and double food here. I want to run more than two guys, dude. I want code of laws. So, yeah, that's my logic on that. And what I'm going to do is, once this guy finishes, this guy is going to whip the sixth settler out. And how much... Okay, we can't grow any more here, so... Okay. We'll, get a, we'll start on the settler, then. You're going to keep growing up to size 7, and you're going to take two cottages here. And I think that's pretty good. <clears throat> oh, want sailing soon, Tian. Oh, Bob Galleys. Bob Galley thing. Um... Well, actually, no. I have that whole coast fog busted. How about that? Not just the land, but the coast is fog busted too. And now I just move that guy down there. He's covering everything here. So, you know what? We might not have barbed galley issues, except down here. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, first of all, before that, I have to deal with the Axeman thing. So, um, well, this workboat can go down there and fog bust, I guess. Maybe try and get him out a bit faster. Uh, heal first. 
I want that archer to be able to... That guy can take out Axemen, probably. I wouldn't bet my life on it. We got the library here, right? Yeah, so the fog busting will happen here in a minute, and I can move my archer if I need to. I'll wait until that tile's in the borders and then move the warrior off, I think. I don't need to chop anything here, I don't think. Could chop another boat. That's a little bit early for that, though. Well, could just rode down here to save a couple turns. It's kind of stupid, but why not? Man, this is scary. Barb Axman. Alright, I'm not going to be greedy here. I'm not going to just put my warrior there. I kind of want this warrior to sit in the city for happiness. That's a backfill. That's not a great city. Okay, so I have to settle here to get it in first ring. And then I have like no good tiles to grow onto. It's not as good as you might think. That's like a astronomy spot. Same with that. That's not good either. That's even worse. This will be good. But yeah, this one, I don't know. This one will be good. Do I even really want to settle that? Maybe I use the food in here for rep specialists with caste system. Or growing cottages. Well, I'm gonna run out of... No, I think I might want to. That'll be the last cottage. I might want the food here, so maybe I don't settle that. Until, like, civil service and then I can farm some stuff. Farm that. Farm that and that. What I do want is monarchy, though. Can we get there? We kind of can. Um, no, be patient, wait for the- well, no, the academy's gonna take way too long. What about the library? The library's also gonna take friggin' ages too. You know what, I'll go to the monarchy quickly, because that'll give me happiness. And that'll allow me to grow, so getting that early is a big deal, kind of. I've got two libraries up. I want this settler, I want this spot, and I want to... cast system my third guy out of there. So I need a granary, and then I go for a lighthouse, maybe even skip the library and just run like four scientists there, five scientists. Can like ten turn a guy or whatever with cast system. So I might go, could go Code of Laws first. Stupid Shanghai is taking way too long. Eh, yeah, whatever. So what are we doing with these idiots? Well, that's going to grow soon, and then I can work that cottage, so that works. <sighs> Can't really chop the settler out, can I? Could chop this one out. Look at that, 20 turns, ugh. Um... I'll take the food in here for one turn, I think. We'll, we'll do some shifting, some shuffling next turn. Okay, now, we want to grow in one here, like that, so I can start running guys. We also want you to grow in one, so you're going to need to do that, and you, yeah, that's okay. I don't know what you did, but that works. Ah. Almost tempted to forget the coast and just go right here and share cottages for my capital. That would actually make it decent. I mean, what's, what's really the benefit of being on the coast? Harbour, that's about it. Closer. But it works three cottages and even a farm, potentially, that I might put here. So actually, right here would be better. We're going to go with that. This one I'm not too sure about. Maybe I forget that one. That doesn't claim anything extra. This one can actually use those two forests. Yeah, this one actually gets more forests than that one. That one kind of misses that one. But this one, we'll get the sheep, which is unique. It won't cost my capital anything. And it can just take one farm. And maybe the mines that I probably won't use. Once I'm growing cottages. So, yeah, I like that. We'll, we'll do that. Do I want to go there before here? Well, since I have archers, I probably can. 
I'll start roading here anyway, and I'm gonna road the big brain way by roading the wine tile because I want the wine hooked up. Okay, a warrior, that's kit. We'll take that guy out and then take the hill. Oh, yes. Brave moment. Da -da -da -da. Make sure no barb galley spawn. I uh, should get the tile here next turn, so whatever, we'll see if something spawns in the fog. That guy's actually, we're kind of fog busting up here, so there's not too much. Yeah, well, I need to fog bust this, and I want to put the archer up here. The warrior's kind of out of position, unfortunately, but you know, they were healing, what can you do? A bit more food here? With one more, one cheeky farm means I can farm here and actually farm up there to irrigate up here. That might be the big brain play, actually, because I can't use the city for irrigation. Alright, we're getting places now. I'm doing stuff, guys. I'm actually doing stuff. Well, not that. What do we want? We want the settler in full, so do that. Um, yeah, grow here. Okay, good. Nothing here, and that's all fog buster. Oh, you ran away, did you, you little punk? I'm going to put the archer there. I don't like to do that. I want to move him the other way, but I also don't want any chance of a barb galley sporting in that area. And yeah, I'm going to go for two more cities, like a champion. I will whip that as soon as the scientist is done. That's the plan. Honestly, I should just wait for the academy. No more. Just wait. Academy and library should come roughly the same time, so I think that makes sense. Or close, anyway. I wouldn't go that far, bro. You should be able to grow. Oh. Floodplains, hey, not too bad. Yeah, um, this is pretty delicate. I've got to be careful here. Okay, so this is getting a happiness back, so it'll actually be able to go to it'll actually be able to go to size five, I think, and it'll be okay. I don't know if cottaging that's going to help me. I think I actually just want to cottage that because I'm actually going to be working that tile for a long time. That seems more beneficial. Not at all similar. Are the race of the immortal gods and the race of yeah of course i have to pay for the this stupid work but why not okay Did he really suicide into my archer? Want a warrior here. Yeah, we're losing hammers on that. Generating 15 beakers naturally, it's nice. Alright, here we're just growing. I kind of need to get that warrior out though. Grow and do that at the same time then. I need the warrior. I don't need that second boat for a long time. I want to go until I get Code of Laws. Might, am I, can I be the first to that? We'll see in a minute, I guess. Okay, I don't have any fish up here, so I don't care for galleys up here, really. So I'm going to go here. You're fog busting that spot. There's a very small chance, like a below 1% chance there's a galley right there This that spawned this turn. And just in case, I'll leave the boat one tile away so I can get away. You are going to go maybe push up here and try to take defensive terrain. You're going to stay there. This one has shock, so he's a Chad archer. He can. Okay, my worry is fog busting this, so my archer can actually go here. Good, we're actually covering our island almost now. We're getting somewhere, guys.
Ah, Bob City. Ah, shit. Okay. That thing's gonna bother me, I know it. Ah, you gotta be kidding me, bro. I'll work the farm in a minute. I want the warrior here so I can actually hit size 6. Okay, that'll be getting whipped soon. And I don't know if I'm going to run guys there, actually. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not, actually. Kinda want that library. Can I get that in 3? No. Uh, the academy's worth more than the library. Well, it's going to take a turn for the guy to get there anyway, because I don't have construction. So, no, library in four is fine, and I tech in four turns. I'll actually get that one in four turns too. That's kind of perfect, if you think about it like that. It doesn't have to generate a person. It's just rep it. working rep specialist is like working two gold mines. Okay, so that's all fog busted. I'll need a way to deal with that, though. Ah, hello guys. Floodplain City, hey, that's not a bad spot. A lot of floodplains over here, actually, like a lot. And I think I've officially just fog busted the whole island. We survived the axe and the spear. That archer's fog busting this. That warrior's fog busting the top. This guy's fog busting the center here. And then, yeah, that's it. Um, I have to do. I have to whip a galley here, I think. Maybe I'll chop it. I might just go to freaking metal cast. I don't have time to go to metal casting, though. I want to get to. No, I'll just whip a freaking galley like an idiot in here. I need to run the scientists like turn 100, though. think it'll aggro on me there. I'll work that in a minute. I could chop it, to be fair. Could try. Get more cottages out. So, any guys here? No, no, nothing. Alright, so we've, we've officially fog busted every single tile. And that barb city is also fog busting, so I can look at the coast here instead. Uh, Barb City fog busts around it like so. So yeah, we have that. We have, we have everything covered, pretty much. It's nice. Very very nice. I think I'll work that. Oh, you're running a guy in here, are you? I didn't even know. You're being a bit cheeky, running a guy in here. I didn't tell you to do that, but no, get the warrior out, bro. Listen to me. Trust me. Just trust me. You can drop the guy for one turn, it's okay. It's okay. Just trust me. I know what I'm doing, thank you, game. This time, anyway. Hanhao, very good. Right, give me my minds back, you bastard. Need that library. Need that library faster. Three turns, there we go. Yeah. Optimized. We can go help out here. Why not? If Coda Law, uh, you know what? I could start taking now and try and get first to Coda Laws. Wouldn't be too bad. You know what's the nice thing about rep is? I don't have to pay any unit cost for warriors in my cities to, you know, stack warriors for happiness. I'm not paying that nasty unit cost that you would be paying with hereditary rule. So that's the advantage of having rep. You save gold per turn and you save. And yeah, you get the extra beakers too, so it's pretty nice. Go, go help out down here. Yeah, this barb galley will be a problem. Ouch. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. I think it's worth to get that city. Might be debatable, but I don't think it's a bad idea. Oh, you know what? I need sailing. Am I first to that? Yes. All right. We're, we're going to try for Code of Laws first. I think I can get it in five with the Library and Academy coming. I'd like to start teching later and save my money. Maybe I should. Yeah, 
you know what, I'm actually going bankrupt. I also need to whip stuff before Code of Laws. Oh, I need sailing. A religion would be nice, extra happiness. A bit of culture. I didn't get meditation, so going Code of Laws won't ruin my bulbing because I won't have the ability to bulb philosophy, that's the idea. You know, I'll just save it and wait for the academy and libraries. It's going to be a huge increase. I don't think it's really going to be much different. Yeah. Okay, well, put hammers into work, but I want to chop a galley. Pick up sailing real quick. Maybe. Don't make the noise. That noise is okay though. You're, you're very welcome. Yes, I humbly welcome more forests in my land. Right, that's another resource hooked up. Okay, I need sailing in one. Can I... No, you bastards. Man. Alright, we stopped growing then. No, that won't even get me sailing any faster anyway. Just... Just work the hammer. What does it matter? Yeah, I wanna keep... Do I wanna keep growing? Ah, oh, whatever. I need a bit of beakers. I need you... Oh, you're already... <laughs> um... No, I'm still beakers short. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you bastards. Already running double in here. Oh, okay, good to know. Alright, just work a citizen. Whatever then. That's more beakers apparently, so. I want sailing and the library in one. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> okay, now watch my research. You can't We're gonna pump it. But you can adjust your sales. Watch this. Watch this. We're done. We are done. Watch this pumpage. BAM! Four turns, pretty much. Oh, that's awesome. You know what? You can't grow anymore though. Wow, who's gonna take the food? I'm actually... screwed a bit here. Oh, that's okay. No, I don't need the overflow. What am I... Oh! Could get one in there, potentially. I think I'd still prefer it in here though. So, grow to size 7, and to pop with that galley, and we'll chop the boats, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I will chop this granary real quick. Alright, I'm a man with a plan. Stuff is happening, guys. 103 beakers. Can barely afford my stuff too. I got the settler out as well, for number 6. Yeah, this is actually pretty hard to optimize. It's a lot more complicated with the rep specialists and stuff. So, I'm actually taking a lot of time here thinking about my moves. A little bit harder to optimize. Good fun though. Okay, now you do that. And now you do not want to grow no matter what. So what you're going to do, you're just going to go like, like that. And then you're done. You are going to grow like a bastard real quick. And I'll, I'll take the archer. Will I though? Well, I need one guy to... No, I don't think I need him. Lighthouse? I'll just get the archer, whatever. Might come in handy.
Let's hope the galley doesn't bully me. Also, we can cottage these now to share them. Okay, I actually don't want Beijing to be next though. I want this one to be next. I need I need a code of laws. And yeah, I'll need to grow this and take the double food in here. Yeah, 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 it's happening. Just work, be work guys in Beijing for now, just to get beakers. Just to get the free beakers. And then we'll go like... Yeah. Lighthouse here. Well, what else are you gonna build? Hey, Moe statue failed gold, actually. Actually... Dude. Screw the archer. Get friggin' Moe statue failed gold. Yeah. I'll, work, I'll get the beakers from the guys here, but I won't get the scientist out of Beijing because it's probably going to be an engineer, let's be real. That'll be my fourth guy, and that'll do a golden age, and then it won't matter what it is. Num we want number two and three to come out, so that means I need to pump the guys in these two cities pretty quick. Yeah, get that running. Codalos went, by the way. I know I know. I heard the noise. Oh no, never mind. I just heard it just then. You bastards. Three turns before me. You freaking bastards. You goddamn bastards. A lighthouse is probably not even worth it. Just get a granary. Get the fish and work for guys. Which means I whip the granary and then go into cast. I go into cast before that though. Do I want that boat out now? I'm gonna have to pay for it, unfortunately. That's because I chopped here like a spastic. We're growing here because we can, and then we're gonna work, work double guys next turn. Take the food in here. I don't like paying full gold per turn. For a work boat, really? Dude. What the hell is that? A work boat costing me full gold per turn. Are you actually serious? Well, okay then, I see how it is. That's really not very nice. Yeah, we can do it. Goddamn bastards, unit supply. Well, fine, I freaking see how it is then. Okay, what the hell's that? Should be able to get it out of the other place. I'm not going to work anything here in a bit. I'll be working wine and stuff and not even using the food to... Oh, the food is going to go to waste. Yeah, maybe I should have settled one up there. That's okay, we can do that later. Any more happiness I can get? Uh, there's a stupid whale, which will come at optics, actually. So, yeah. We'll run artists in there. Actually get that at optics, which isn't too far away. And that's a happiness. And that's a bastard. We know that. Um... Okay, I'm gonna use my warrior to move out and fog bust. Yeah, I'll get the two fish and then just work scientists. I can run like a lot of guys. I'll whip a granary before I go into cast. Yeah, I got the wines too, that's a happiness. We'll be going there after Code of Laws. My economy's not really in too good shape though. That city might hurt as well. I just don't have enough commerce. But then again, you know, rep specialist, I'm still 40 beakers per turn with my slider down. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Could chop a trireme out here, but I'll do that later. No need to do that now. Ah, this is... I'm kind of desperate here. Great 
Lighthouse. Okay, please, are in Jesus. Don't let me lose that. <sighs> oh, shit. I messed up. Should have gone there. That was dumb. I'm going to spawn here. Alright, I have to go there. Stop our spawn there. Not the end of the world. I okay, will farm that one though. Okay, well, got cut of laws. Who the hell's working the forest? What are you smoking? Let's do that. Put hammers into the library. That's okay. So I can two-pub whip it later. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the land so that the strong should not harm the weak. Running away now, you bastard, huh? You know what? I'm expansive. I don't need to whip my granary, I'll just friggin' mine it and build it naturally while I'm working fish or whatever. Which means... I think I'm just gonna go for it right now, is there any reason... Any, any, I'm not whipping anything. Uh, maybe that. I can chop that though, that's fine. So, no, we're gonna settle that. Holy crap, ouch. Oh, well, it's not too bad. And we're gonna work artists and merchants and stuff, so I can keep my slider higher. I'm gonna try that. Okay, we have a tile for you. It's called this one. And I really need to get those wines up and running, but yeah, we're going there next. Alright, granary first, yes. And yeah, you should be working an artist, right? Yeah, 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 you're smart. Good job. Why are you doing that, though? Holy shit. Oh, it spazzed out because I went into Coda Laws, I think. Okay, we want this one to get the next guy, and then this one's got to do it after with the double thing. He ran away, dude. Are you serious? I'm not going to work that, though. I'm going to wait for that one. I don't want to lose that and then get pillaged. If I improve that one, he can't pillage me. If I win that, well, good. There you are, you bastard. Stupid barb galleys. Actual bastards. Okay, my archers are fogbusting this entire middle area, which means the warrior can fogbust the coast for when my galley leaves. And we want to double mine here to get the granary now. I'm getting monarchy in 5 turns at 0% science, dude. Freaking rep for ya. Holy shit, that's actually insane. I can't get a guy out here, though. That really sucks. I have to, like, stop. I hate to do this. I c can't. I gotta get the other, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to bulb. Or maybe, we just go for it, and don't care. What the hell? Freaking thing, like, bugged out. Maybe we go for it and don't care, and take the risk. I should still be able to get these two out anyway, eventually, because I can run like four guys in each. And that's what I'll do. I'll grow grow this bastard for now. Can I? Oh, I can't. I gotta wait for the wine. Man. Well, while we're waiting for wine, we might as well just do that. Yeah. Okay. I think that makes sense. Rather than hold my capital back, which is not doing anything right now, I don't want to work crap tiles. I'll just get the guy out. And if it's a scientist, woohoo! If not, well, we save him for golden age. And we'll just get another two out regardless. I think I can do it with Code Laws anyway. Should be fine. Yeah, good plan. We're getting to Monarchy too. Maybe four turns. Mind that bastard here. 
Uh, one boat goes in here. Alright, you. Come on, we gotta go fight him now. Like a hero. Might as well scout out the land. More incense. Well, okay. I will settle this whole continent later. Yeah, I don't dare improve that until we win that fight. Okay, since you're not doing anything in particular, you can run merchants and you'll work another merchant in a minute. You might get a guy before the south one, in fact. I'm not sure. So we might want you on scientists. We might be getting a second one here before the first guy here, I'm not... It's possible. So it'll be Beijing, then it'll be Guangzhou, and then it'll be Shanghai. Alright you bastard, let's fight. It's a duel. I can't move out there. I'll get the fish, that'll actually save me some unit cost too. Be nice. Can we get monarchy any faster, guys? Oh, well, I'll get it in two, not three, but two. That'll have to do. Yeah, I need these wine tiles, they're nice. I'm gonna hang around here. And yeah, I'm just putting hammers into that, because why not? Can we grow here? Well, we kind of can. We're getting wine fairly soon, but not yet. So just work the scientists for now. It gets me to monarchy. Yes! Oh, mama. Eat that, you bastard. Okay, the galley on the corner, that's that entire area, the barb city should be fog busting there, which means now I just need to shift these guys around like this, like this, like this, and like that, and that should be the whole freaking coast fog busted, yeah. I'm gaming, guys. We did it. I think we're finally barb-free. Unless there's a galley hiding in the shadows somewhere, like a cheeky little punk. Who knows. But there's obviously none here. They can't spawn here. So yeah, we got a spot there. We could put one up here. I don't think I'll do that, though. I think I'll get this, like right there, just to get all three of that. I can put a city here. I can get two cities out of these floodplains. That's a lot of floodplains. We'll get two cities out of that. And, well, there's no real... No other spots. So maybe, yeah, just what, those three si and the Barb City. One... T um, X here. X here. One, two, three. And four. And that'll be it. That's nine cities. That's enough to get massive armies and take out the rest of the bastards. So that's fine. Let's get some extra gold per turn. Kind of need it. Let's make sure we get monarchy now. And then straight to metal casting and I should be able to get there pretty quick now. A multitude of I'll go iron working first because I might have iron. Let there be one ruler, one king. How have we not got... Oh right, you're working the food instead of the artist. Yeah, well, I get the stupid artist so I don't have to pay unit cost. I was wondering, like, what's going on? Why is it taking so long? Well, it stopped running an artist there. Get the artist so I can stop paying for the stupid boat. I think that's worth it than one turn of food. The only way they can get a galley is if they freaking build one in the city. Ah, stop that. Winery time. Ugh, five turns. Okay. Ah, oh, that one tile! But I can cover that, I think. Shit, yeah, I can cover that. It's okay. And all these tiles are fuck-busted. Should I go here? Oh, oh, that's good to know. I 
still have that fog buster, it's okay. Well, not that one. And that one, shit, yeah, I need to move back, but... Good to know what's in there, at least. Yeah, I'm three turning iron working with 0% science. <laughs> Freaking rep beakers is actually insane. This city's generating 31 beakers per turn, my god. Yeah, running those three guys with the academy is some um, pretty big payoff, I think. Okay, we're getting wine, and we're getting happiness. We're getting that, so we can start growing in here. Shit, it's already been two hours. I might just stop in a bit. Having fun, though. I'll play until I get bored. Who cares? I might as well improve that. Uh, it's not like I can do much better. I need you there, right? This should be... Can I move a guy back? I think I can, actually. Nice. Can actually move one archer back and I still... My galley's fogbusting the four land tiles here, so yeah. Should be fine. As long as the Barb City's fogbusting itself, it should should be. So, yeah. It's fine. Okay, we're getting one... Two turns. Which I think it means next. That means next turn. So I think that means we grow. Right. Right. Yeah, we grow now, and you don't have to grow quite so quickly. You can grow like that and work three guys and still grow. That's awesome. And I'm just gonna work like four guys or even five. Got the wine. Take the wine in here. We take the cottage in here. Perfect. Awesome. I think I will still farm that so I can farm these two and give this guy really good whipping potential later with a bunch of grassland farms and the sheep. I need that to irrigate up here, so I will keep that for farm, and I'll make a little note of that just in case, farm. Yeah, look at those wine tiles, you want to be working those, that's like, so much better than these tiles. Gonna be an awesome capital, I'm telling you. Okay, you. Do I really need that guy that fast, or should I take a chill pill, maybe, and just grow another size? Because I can. Maybe I should? I am I need two scientists. That's what's holding back my astronomy date. Not one scientist, I need two. And yeah, we're gonna wait for this one. Merchant. Um... 14 turns. Is that bar more fill than this one? It's about the same. I think I can get it out of here before that one. I have to keep an eye on that though. Get the other one. Now I don't want another guy in that capital after uh, before these two. That's what I gotta be careful of, but I think I can handle that. Pretty okay. My money's actually getting better now with all the cottage development. It's actually getting a lot better. We're okay. Going pretty nicely, I must say. Having fun here. Ah! You should hammer your iron when it is Perfect. Up. Right there. Oh, we can build some swords and take that bastard, although we'll do that a bit later. Okay, so what are we doing here? We want four guys. You know what? This city's going to need to get cracking now. <laughs> well, we'll do that at the next site, so it's okay. Wait, we have iron, guys, though. We have iron. Yeah, I don't know if this will get a guy. I mean, maybe. It's a good spot anyway, so who cares? Awesome Moai statue spot. I'm going to build that bust there, like... I don't know, man. I'll, I'll just build it, like, right away and work the hammers. 
Uh, get that improved so I could work that to get the monument, uh, the moai and the granary and stuff. So straight to optics now, and you know, I can get there pretty quick. Look at my research. Classical era music, very relaxing. I want to kind of check over here for fish, but that's um a bit you know. No more settlers until optics, and we will want three settlers for optics and a bunch of swords. Oh yeah, I was gonna move a guy back, wasn't I? Next turn. Hey, we got the second one up. All right, so we need to share some cot. No, we just need to do that. That's better. That's better. Yeah. More money. Um, okay. Cottage that one. You know what? I'll do it. Make this capital even more powerful, and I'll need to cottage that too. Unless, no, I have water down here, so I can still farm there. Okay, you can go there. Yeah, grow and then work that tile. Why not? I don't think I'll cottage. I think I'll farm for even more food. Or work. I'll probably workshop it later, actually. Or work. Yeah, well, at some point. You know, it's collecting money now. Yeah. Maybe it should be teching, though, while I'm working rep scientists. It doesn't matter, get the bonus on them no matter what. But hey, let's get metal casting so we can put our hammers into something useful like forges. Yeah? Huh? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? You just grew. It's time. Why are you doing that? What are you freaking on? Oh my god. Huh, can only run four guys. I thought I could do five. Well, I can do five if I want to push it. Nine turns. Um. Yeah, I actually need to push it like that, sadly. Take that cottage in here, and then Beijing takes that cottage. Oh, I can slow down that one a little. I won't chop the forges, I'll wait until math. No, you know what? I need to chop caravals. Yeah, I'm gonna need to chop caravals. Okay. Hey, that's pretty early AP for Immortal. Wow. Might be Isabella or Hatchi or something like that. One of those religious nuts. I want one Trireme to upgrade and then I'll chop a Caraval with the three forests. So I don't want to switch out of cast. I will want to triple chop it, so we'll need to remember that. Need to have three workers in position. Get optics and go chop chop chop. Bang. One turn careful that way. The other one will be an upgrade. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. We can chop a forge here though. Let's go hook up the iron in the meantime. Right. Um, 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 um. Great general. Hey, that's what I like to see. How many great generals have actually been born? Nice, 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 nice. One. No generals before that, but good. People are fighting. Excellent. Excellent, yeah. Kill each other, you stupid bastards. <laughs> I should have chopped that away in Cottage that a long time ago, but alright. Well, this guy can start pre-chopping forests.
I'm just watching here. One city won't be able to get the rep happiness. I'm not... Yeah, it might be this one. That's why we have a warrior going here. I have the wine, which will help me though, so it's okay. Yeah, iron tile will be good. Okay, Beijing. Yeah, still only 12 turns. That's a time for Astro. Well, you know... I could speed up my optic state by just bulbing, like, all of machinery this turn. I could use that to bulb all of machinery. That's only 12 turns. Maybe a bit more, but... That one is, what, 14 turns? Easily? And that's only... Yeah, I'll have all the guys I need by 300 AD. That's really nice, actually. Could I get... A, I reckon I could get another guy out of here. Eventually. By running the boys and working the food. And that guy can do the Golden Age at like 800 AD or something. Because I'll, I'll have a forge and I'll be able to run two scientists. I've got the mids. You know, 38 turns. Let's see how. Let's say I'm running three guys in here. Like, pretend I have a forge, right? But 27 turns. Oh, you gotta like. It's gonna be in reality. It's gonna be like 500 or 600 points, maybe 50 turns. How far is 50 turns away? I mean, that's a thousand AD. That's in time, I think. Kind of for steel, maybe. Kind of. I don't know. I might be calculating this wrong. So you know what? Or I could settle for 10 beakers and three hammers. 10 beakers, though, is going to take 100 turns to pay off. I think I'd just rather the earlier optic state, to be honest. All of machinery, that's t like a lot of turns saved, like 8 turns saved, maybe. Machinery is the most expensive tech. I need to get cracking, I'm very close now, holy shit. What are we doing? Stop, stop, stop this garbage. Stop, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. No more garbage, please. That's almost a village. Wow. Not bad. I'm going to send this guy to help chop. I kind of screwed this up a bit, didn't I? Oh, well, shit happens. And we'll just chop chop. This guy can go improve that. I don't know. I guess you can finish your stupid cottage here. We're growing here anyway. Okay, this music. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I actually need to build the forge, though. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good point. Alright, so 17 turns here. I can get that faster. 14 turns here. It's going to be like another, I don't know... 8 turns as well. Uh, 20, let's say 14... About 25 turns I'll have the ability to Bulb Astro, and that is what? 680? 580? That's pretty good. That's decent. I might I might starve them down to get it faster too. Dude, I am so close to optics actually, wow. We'll keep going to optics and stop. You know what? I need to put hammers into settlers then. Alright, this one... The city is so fantastic. It can probably build a settler while... ...running its guys. We've we'll got that iron improved.
Don't need that just yet. Let's get the iron instead. One turn faster. That'll help me build the settler much, much faster. I need my third worker down here. I'm very close to optics. Holy shit, it's going fast. Didn't think it would be this fast. Um, they start on the forge there. Kind of need it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Won't have a chance to work that until I get more happiness. Need to meet the idiots and get happiness. Okay, this is fine. Granary in two here. Yep. Won't be able to farm me a guy, but <laughs> my statue's in here. Oh boy. Compass. Well, one more turn of saving cash. I think I can push it. Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm optics in five, so that'll be like 150.80. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good. Typical dates 250 to 580, and we're getting that 150. That's the mids and a bunch of cottages and rep scientists for you. I'm doing this with six cities too, not four cities, which is usually the most early, most optimal for maintenance and gets you early optics. But cities like this are actually paying for themselves. They're generating 12 beakers and six gold, and only costing three gold. Actually paying for itself. You can take the mine in a minute to finish your library. Yeah, look at this guy. It's already grew, grown these to hamlets. That's nice. Getting those cottages developed. Get that one up too. That'll be good when it's a town. I think it's worth it. But I won't put any more hill cottages like that. Okay. Into forge. Oh, I need to get a trary mount too. How the hell am I going to get a trary mount? Might actually need to chop a caravel here too. This is not really going to be optimized, is it? I don't want to whip. Can't whip. I tell you what, there's no, there's no time. I gotta get a trireme out. Whip that mine and then double chop the stupid trireme. I guess. Yeah. I, I don't have time. I'm getting optics in five. But start on forges. Come on. Library forge. Greenery. We'll go straight to Moai here, though. 100 fail gold in that. Forget that archer. Play until optics. Okay, so we want you to work that for a minute. Like that, I don't know. Actually, you could just grow for a bit. That That's okay too. Those are great tiles. And you can start pushing your guy here. In a bit. I need to kind of hang around here so I can actually finish these chops. This one only needs a double chop. Hmm, why am I going to do this? Maybe... Help out with that, and then I don't, I don't know. Figure something out. All right, you have to stay here though, and just road or something. I don't know. Play until optics. This is a bit awkward. Oh, it's slower than I think. Never mind. It might actually be a bit more than five. Well, okay, that's fine. It might be two hundred AD optics, which is still pretty good, but. Chop the stupid Tyrim and upgrade it. You cannot really grow, can you? No.
Shanghai. Shanghai kind of needs to pedal to the metal a bit here. Uh, get the stupid tram and then we'll do it. I'll just grow one more size too. Yeah, grow first and then we'll do it. Can use that food surplus to run more guys. That's fine. Yeah, it's optics in five maybe. Yeah, no, it's gonna be another one. Six. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, you can't grow. Feels bad. Have to do that. No choice. Yeah, it sucks, but... Oh, well. Maintenance is actually... I might not need that second forest. It should be in time, actually. Well, they chopped it anyway, the frigging idiots. Alright, you guys. Good job. Get him out and then we'll start on the settler, that's okay too. That's perfect because it'll start the settler the same time it hits size 8, nice. Okay, so we want you to come over here and get ready to chop caravel here. I hope I can get that in 4, right? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's fine. Wait for that library and then I'll put the science up again. What money to upgrade this trireme to? I don't know if I can afford to be able to do that though. Well, you know what? Okay, I need to work that. Run merchants in there. I think I can optimize this. Right, let's get in position to triple chop this though. Oh, it doesn't have to be just yet. But to turn into the workshop, then I've got to get in position. I'm getting optics in three. I ah, chopped the settler, why not? Okay, let's... Come on, we got to pick it up now. Really got to pick it up. 13 turn settler, we can live with that, but I need... that guy to come out. Yeah, you know what, just do that. Really want to work the food... or maybe that's better. Actually, what am I saying? You can probably just do merchants in here. No, you know what? You want scientists here because we have the academy. Has to be scientists in here. We have an academy. Everywhere else can do merchants, though. You, what are you doing? You're doing a merchant? Hey, good job. You're smart. Nearly two turn it. I'll try to make sure I have 50 gold for the upgrade. I can do that for one more turn. I'll, I'll do it just to be safe. Great general, good. Okay, now you. Are you doing... You're doing the stupidest thing ever. You know what? We need that whale. Give me that whale. Okay, I need to make sure I have 50 gold as well when I do this. I think I will be doing... I think I will! Perfect. We can get this idiot into position and then that one... The caravel can go to the right, and we'll upgrade the trireme right here to go left. I can't really get any more guys out because I don't have slavery to whip, so we'll just have to make do with two caravels. That'll be okay though. And yeah, as we know, we're pumping the scientists pretty damn nicely. And I can do that. I can afford to do that. I think it's worth it. Cool. Hanging Gardens at 200 AD, okay. No, we just chill for a sec here. Oh, 
want to just do the optics thing correctly. I think I've optimized this pretty darn good though. You're going to see the magic. Easily get that. I'll make sure and go like that. This is pretty optimized. Go chop out that workboat. Just checking. Okay, how's the scientist thing? Okay, Gung Jaw, four turns, excellent. And. Seven turns, oh well. Yeah, that's the best you can do in here, isn't it? Oh well. Okay, stop, 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 stop. stop. Right. One doesn't discover new lands without losing sight of the shore. Bang. Now. Caraval. One. Two. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Perfect. Is it actually going to help getting that guy any faster? It's that stupid other city that's the lagging now. Maybe I should work my good tiles. The other city is actually like really lagging behind. Stupid Shanghai. I'll have to drop a tile. I could do it like that. Well, yeah, then Shanghai will be first. I'll do that in a minute though. I think I will do that. Probably worth it. Keep working the iron to get the settler. Okay, well now we can just go tech math, because why not? Oh, too bad I did all my chops. It's okay, we can math chop that workboat into a light house. Math chop our forges with whatever we have left. It's not too shabby. Okay, so optics not the best date, 225 AD, but hey, it's still good. And... I have a nice empire here. I've even got Moai statues nearly finished. I've got forges halfway done. I'm going to have a seventh city. And this bastard can pretty much do... Maybe go settler in here. Get the forge later. Get the settlers now. Yeah. I mean, who else would build a freaking settler? Maybe the capital. No, not really. But yeah, straight to math and then looking good. Oh well, I'll take a break here. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.